Welcome back to Conspiracy Theories and Chill. On tonight's episode, we have a special guest, Tyler Klatinoff, and he's here to talk to us about what may end up being a very difficult subject for some, even on a conspiracy theory show. As we're all aware, the average person is indoctrinated and brainwashed on a massive scale. We're lied to and misled on just about every front. We have went into many of these lies right here on this show, but what we're going to talk about tonight is what if we don't even know the truth about where we live? We're told we live on a spinning ball flying through space at thousands of miles an hour chasing a giant fireball a hundred times the size of our planet through an infinite and ever-expanding universe that came from nothing and formed all things and all life through an unexplained Big Bang. But what if that's all a lie? What if outer space is fake and the true shape of our planet is being hidden from us? Well, our guest today says it is all a lie, and he's here to tell us why he thinks that. So let's welcome Tyler to Conspiracy Theories and Chill, and get into the flat earth and fake outer space awakening to understand it better. Welcome to the show, Tyler. Yeah, thank you for having me. That was a great intro. That is nice. Thank you. And yeah, that's exactly what I am, have been uh, really researching about. A little intro into why I'm into this, and so into it. It's about three years ago... I was researching, you know, the fake, the NASA hoax, like the moon landing hoax and the bubbles in space and the International Space Station. Uh -huh. And I was already looking into that. And then some of the videos I was looking at around that, that general concept, the uh, other recommended videos would be like flat earth stuff. And it's like, wow, I don't like that. And it just made me feel really bad. And like, I don't know. Initially, it just kind of, I just kind of ignored it at first, and I thought they were trying to staple. I was sincerely convinced in the beginning that this NASA hoax, the bubbles in space, the fake moon landing that's so easily, obviously fake, that they were just stapling the fake outer, the uh, flat earth stuff to that so they could discredit all of it. So right away, I started getting like really urged by my official, my initial response to uh, my initial, uh, my initial, uh, seeing of the flat earth stuff and I took it on myself to just destroy it. Be like, this should be the easiest thing to expose right away. Right. And I looked into it for about three years and then I was just pretty much forced to accept it. And yeah, the earth is obviously flat and it takes a long time to see through it at first. But then once you realize it, it's just so in your face obvious. So yeah, I'm, pretty good at talking about that after those crazy last three years right and i i, I follow you on facebook and I, you happen to be one of the ones i put on my seat first because you do get into a lot of fascinating research i i've followed down a lot of the rabbit holes you've sent me down and it, it is good stuff and it is makes compelling arguments but what would you say are your biggest reasons for believing that the earth is flat for someone that doesn't um, know well the earth is measurably the earth is measurably flat. It's not like a belief. It's like, so the way it works, if you, once you look into it, all the measurement tools agree with all the other measurement tools. And those also all agree with our senses, all of our senses. It's all saying that the earth is flat and motionless. Yeah, I don't, so I don't feel, feel like, like I'm it's a belief. That's just like, what is going on? The earth is flat. It's an understanding and awareness. That the earth is flat, obviously. It's measurably, provably flat. It's not a belief. And like from a lot of the, so I've watched a lot it. of that flat earth stuff too. I've, I've delved down that rabbit hole. I, I'm entertained. I first was entertained by it. I, I, I related to a lot of what you said because I thought it was disinformation too. I was like, this is dangerous. You know, this, there's a lot of things that we're being lied about and this is making it look silly. That's why it's there. But then the more I looked at it, the more yeah, I'm like, these guys are making some excellent points. And for me, one of the biggest would be yeah. that you have no measurable curvature. Yeah, it's measurably flat. And a lot, a, another crazy. great example. I saw this video. Go ahead. Yeah, sorry, continue. No, go ahead. You go ahead. I saw this. I saw this. Uh, this I wish I would have saved it. It was a thousand mile viewing infrared. So the new thing that they've we've figured out or people have figured out is that if you use an infrared filter, you can start to see crazy, crazy distances. Because usually it's just the thickness of the atmosphere that's making it so you can't see. Exactly. So with the infrared filter, the one the one I saw, 
it was a thousand miles and then they had the little google maps like showing the like one beach to like a mountain range and i wish i would have saved it but yeah thousand mile visibility that is just impossible no amount of anything on any sort of ball could explain standing at a at the shore and seeing something a thousand miles away that's just there we go i mean earth is flat it's just that's that and it's hard to argue with that because you know they try to they'll, they'll sell you and i remember seeing it as a little kid bill nye would would sit there with his model and show you this is why uh boats uh, disappear over the horizon they're going over the curvature well now we have the technology to bring that boat right in back into focus it's not going over the curvature it's the limitations of your eyes yeah yeah and like all the like quote unquote ball earth proof it just all falls apart right away once you look into any of it they're just being so lazy with all of it that's another thing they're just so lazy now um so let me let me take it a little further so like you had said that your your interest in this had started because you were seeing it as recommended videos when you were looking at the fake moon landing and things like that it would come up as a recommendation and that's how you ended up going down that rabbit hole same for me by the way um but for just a second let's talk about nasa itself and how it not only has deceptive foundings but is is provably a deceptive organization yeah and what and they seem to be intentionally intentionally faking it poorly even they make a lot of mistakes that's the main thing that's the reason i'm mistakes they seem to be making the mistakes either on purpose or else re, after they make a mistake like instead of reshooting it they release the mistake so there must be i don't think they can be that out of it and like no. that oblivious to what they're even doing it's got to be intentional otherwise what it could be is uh people in on it who are kind of forced into it but aren't okay with it so they like leave easter eggs and ways to show the public what's going on actually that would I'm make not sense sure, but too. it's pretty they they should not even like when they have some bubbles they should just not release that why would they why would they show us bubbles coming out all the time like that that's just why why else would they even release that it's not and just not the just bubbles. There's also a lot of the ISS footage. You can see the use of wires. It's you can see it in their clothing. It's visibly there. And why would you need that? Why would you need wire rigs to uh, film in zero gravity? And the only argument I can see you making for it is you don't want them floating all around the craft. But acknowledge that there's a wire there because we can see it. Yeah, so many examples of that. There's hundreds of examples of that. CGI blips. Yeah, and then the CGI blips were like only one layer, like they'll be like doing whatever, and then only like one layer of the CGI will blip, like only the background will blip, or like only the thing they're interacting with will blip, but none of the rest of the shot. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, that's obviously green screen. They just got busted. You that happened only, in the recent... Only one explanation for that. Mm-hmm. That happened in that recent video where Tesla supposedly launched a car into space during their own live feed. Yeah. yeah. You, you got a glimpse of the studio for just a second. Yeah, just the first time. And then that was edited out. And then, and then when they edited it into uh, the live, like when they edited it up to YouTube on that thing, they edited that out. And you're not supposed to be able to. We couldn't. If, you, if we made a live stream of something, we wouldn't, you and I wouldn't be able to go back in and edit it. No. But apparently, uh, Tesla can do that. They oh, have yeah. special Google. They have, uh, they have uh, chip or something. access to a lot cooler things than we do. You know, because yeah. the government's always been open about the fact that their technology is 50 years ahead of ours. They, that's something that they've talked about before. So, unless that stopped being true, they're still 50 years ahead of us, at least. At least. Yeah, at least. Yeah, that's just what they've told us. So that's out of their own mouth. So you have to you have to believe that they they, they can do things we don't know to. about. Yeah, that's what they'll admit to. You know, what about all the stuff on the things that they've had to release to us that's blacked out? What about all the truth we don't know about? That's what we need to be wondering. Just the stuff that we do know and is acknowledged is crazy. Like losing the telemetry data for the moon missions. 
That is historic. It should be in the Smithsonian. Why would you lose that? Why would you? And they say they didn't lose it. They say they destroyed it because they recorded over it. Yeah, they just destroyed, and then they destroyed the technology and recorded over the data. Right. What, what that's, one of the most the actual story. important achievements of mankind. But people should be in prison for that at least. Yeah. That, they, someone fucked up and someone should be in prison for crimes against humanity, even if what they're saying is true. Like, who fucked up that bad? It's to just tape over the greatest achievements of a, humanity, allegedly? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. That's just... That doesn't make any sense. So I don't believe, believe it. That they're, it's impossible to believe. How could that be? How could... Yeah, you, I, can't, I can't believe it. That's a colossal mistake. And film is not so important and valuable that you would you would need to ration it <laughs> yeah, out. Right. This is an organization that yeah, gets billions of dollars. Pretty of much infinite money, but they need to recycle tapes. Yeah, to such an extent they have to retape over the moon landing stuff. Yeah, and they'll they'll Crazy. sit in there with a straight face no and just way say that, I that we taped over it. And even yeah. now, uh, 50, 60 years later, with better technology, we can't figure out how to do it again. It's just like, and then he just keeps on talking. It's like, wait, time out. It's like, you need to, you should stop there. You can't just say you destroy the technology and just keep talking like it's nothing. Like, you, you what? Excuse me, sir? You what? Right. You what? You destroyed the, t what do you mean you destroyed it? How, what are you saying? What did you just say? You, what did you just say? Like, and he just keeps talking like it's nothing. Yeah, we destroyed the technology and blah, 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 blah. It's like, it's just mind-boggling, just maddening. It is, and it makes it where you can't believe anything that they're telling you because, like, let's use the moon footage, for example, was one of the first things that made me wake up to the fact that we didn't go, um, which I've been open that I believe that we've never been to the moon. We've never been outside of low Earth orbit. They acknowledge that today. They say we can't go any further than low Earth orbit. And the reason for that is they lost the trajectory data of how they made it through the Van Allen radiation belts, and they can't figure it out again. So, yeah. but the moon footage was the first thing that made me realize, because first off, you can tell the, the obvious use of wire rigging again in the moon footage, with the astronauts obviously being on wires, and it's obviously filmed in slow motion. They're not in zero gravity. When you speed it up, you just see a guy jogging. It, it, it's not the leaps of someone in zero gravity. They never obtained a jump that you would, every time they jumped, they'd come eight to 12 inches off the ground. You should expect them to be able to do what you would be able to do in what, eight times less the gravity of earth. So they should be able to get about a foot and a half off the ground, two feet off the ground. They should be jumping like NBA all-stars, but they can barely hop. Yeah. I mean, just, Even with the use of wires. None of it. And like you said, they, they fake it sloppily. They do it poorly. And I think the reason why they do that is, um, this is taking it a little further, but this is my personal opinion. The Illuminati, those in charge, they believe they have to put their plan and their, everything they do in plain sight because our silence is our consent. I think that they have to show you it's fake. They have to put the Easter eggs in there. That's part of their belief system. They have to put it out there. That's just my belief. Yeah, why they're doing it, That I've got a lot of theories on that, why they're faking it poorly like that, but they definitely are. And we can go into that, and we should definitely go into why they're doing that, but I want to say one quick thing more on the wires. Have you seen the, the video? The, the dude who originally made it was Captain Obvious. Now he's obviously been uh, completely banned from YouTube and social media, and he's just off. I hope he's safe. Right. Uh, he made this... A uh, compilation called Puppet on a String. Uh, Sandy Shaw, she's like a 40s singer or something like that. Yeah. And she, uh, there was so many instances of them being busted, being on wires in the moon landing footages. Mm -hmm. And he was able to set it to as if they were dancing to that song, Puppet on a String, with just their wire bloopers. Like, some, like someone was like dancing a marionette bell to that song and you should you guys should all check it out i'll try to send the video so you can put it with the show yeah and send me that link and i'll put it in the comments it's there's that much fakery of wires that people are able to set it 
to the songs as if they're dancing to it. There's that much of it. It's just crazy. And for both of us, those all those things, which they won't even acknowledge, led us into looking at what maybe you're lying to me about the shape of where I live as 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 much as that goes against everything you've been taught since you were little the one of the first things you're taught in school is the globe you know so it goes yeah, against like everything you're supposed to believe you're like preschool building. yeah so it goes against everything you've ever been trained to believe but you still looked at it because this organization is responsible for all the information we get about space and you can't trust them no they're they're liars dude i mean they're they're busted. And I feel like people are just in denial about that. They're just straight in denial that what they're seeing is just is too mind-blowing. They just can't. It would be too traumatic to have to start over with everything. So they're shielded from it or something. But it's so obvious. It is. It's scary, really, when you think about it. The the, the Just to talk about the fake NASA stuff. Because... We have been to the moon, they say, what, seven times, right? Uh, at least five. I can't remember the exact number right now. We've went, well, I thought we had seven missions and only one of them failed. I, I might be wrong. I, anyways, we've been yes. a couple times. Five to seven. We don't have more a real one. picture of Earth. NASA has been in existence for, what, since the 40s or 50s. And we don't have a real picture of Earth yet. We haven't turned one satellite around and taken an actual real picture of Earth. They are all composites. And they admit that. Yeah, and actually, did you see that? Uh, so apparently some Israeli lander took a photo of the Earth recently. And you can see a wire on it, and there's no, identifiable, no identifiable land masses. So oh, I got to see that. I out. haven't seen that, but I got to see that. Yeah, so just to tell you, like, Israeli moon, picture of space, something like that. And, yeah, you can, not only can you see the wire, there's, it's like, what the fuck is that? There's no, there's no land masses or anything. Like, what is that? That's, uh, what, how can you say that's the Earth when you can see a wire and that doesn't look like the Earth? Like, right. It's just such gaslighting. I gotta see it. No, but I said all that and I took us down this road just to prove that, you have a good reason for questioning their official story, for questioning anything that they tell you. Yeah. Just to lay a foundation for anybody listening, because as, as someone that has followed you on Facebook and with your bravery of speaking out about this belief, which, let's be honest, people treat you ridiculous for, for having this belief. They treat you like you're downright stupid when it's, a, when it's provable in a yeah, conversation with you that you're not. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, see, when people mock me, though, I don't, I can't even really take it seriously. I'm like, these people believe in floaty gravity stuff. They think that there's ships in Australia upside down. Just be patient with them. These people maybe aren't right, dude. They think weird stuff. Right. So like when people laugh at me, like I'm so crazy. It's like, you think that there's people upside down in Australia right now, and they say there's no upside down, but like. So they tell us that someone standing directly inverted with their the soles of their feet pointed at the soles of your feet, they tell us that's not upside down somehow. That up isn't up and down isn't down. And just because someone is perfectly inverted, they're not upside down somehow. It's right. Just, it's just so crazy, man. It's all just so crazy. And, you know, I when I was listening to you on Robert's show in your last appearance, you were talking to the psychiatrist and you were asking him about the horizon and why it doesn't curve. And then why also from planes aren't you visibly seeing even buildings leaning? Yeah, I still have never gotten a good explanation on that. No, and I haven't. See, I've watched, like I said, I've watched a lot of the Flyler stuff on YouTube. And I've done a little research for myself on the internet. And the only thing that's holding me back is I haven't done any of these experiments for myself. Have you ever tried to, not just with the line of sight and how that's impossible, so that is provable, even for myself. I can stand somewhere with good visibility and see stuff that I shouldn't be able to see. With the, If you work out the curvature of the size of the ball they say we live on, you shouldn't be able to see it. But the like um, the laser stuff on lakes, I've seen videos where people have measured 
over a distance of about a mile with a laser and there's just no no curvature at all it's just a straight line i've seen it did, measured over further distances but i've just never done it for myself and everybody seems to think that if you haven't done all this research for yourself you don't know what you're talking about when they're taking their beliefs from research others have done that they didn't do for themselves <laughs> yeah right that blows me away yeah, at least with the at least with the like lasers tests and stuff, at least they like film the whole thing and we can watch the whole thing and stuff like that. Like when they talk about these science experiments where they look through their microscopes and stuff, we can't see anything like that. Like at least, yeah, I mean, yeah, I haven't done that many experiments except for what I can see. And I'm more into the fake outer space than the flat earth stuff because I'm so sure of the fake outer space thing. But uh, yeah, the earth is just flat. And I feel like we come to a point where yeah, at the least, they haven't done the personal measurements. So even if we had done nothing of our own, like none of our own observations, like then we would still just be pushed with them because they're not doing their own stuff either. So it's kind of silly how they dismiss us. I agree. And that's one of the other things that turned me on to it. Because honestly, I'm going to be honest, I, I, I probably got down there through you on Facebook because I would, I would see this and anytime someone is so triggered by an idea that it makes them react violently and start to just instantly resort to name calling, <laughs> I know you that we're so on to you. something. You're, you're on to something whenever that happens. I got to look now. Yeah. People are mad at me. I'm not even the one who decided the shape of the earth and I'm not the one that lied to them, but they get so mad at me about it. It's crazy. Yeah. And they, Let the triggers be the guide. They can they can disagree with their friends like over all kinds of things. Like you can think Mountain Dew is delicious, and your friend thinks it gross, and that's fine with you. But it, and and you are able to move on and still treat that person with respect. But this particular belief makes you so triggered that you've got to demean them. I got to look at why that is, because it's triggering some kind yeah, of indoctrination violent. in you. Violent. It's like a violent response. People want to hurt me. I can see it. And I think oh, yeah. it's just silly. I mean, it, it's just, I don't take it seriously. I mean, if someone wants to hurt me, yeah, whatever, they beat me up because I don't believe in space or whatever. And then, yeah, okay, I'll heal whatever. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't, <laughs> I'm not going to say whatever, but people are not. Yeah, but I think they got to ask themselves, stuff. what's causing that reaction in me? You really yeah. need to look back at yourself whenever you find yourself in those kind of situations. Why is this making me angry? You know, why can't I just think that this person is wrong and move on with my life? But instead, I'm sitting here on Facebook for hours, wasting my time going back and forth, telling you how stupid you are as you present me with evidence and, and you stay so patient. I don't know how you do it. I've, I've looked at some of those threads and I'm like, all he's doing in back when it, back to him is giving him giving him more evidence, and they're not refuting any of it. They're just personally attacking you. Yeah, and I just keep opening up evidence because there's so much. Cause yeah, there are even. I mean, obviously, the people in tilting me that are getting like offensive and butt hurt. I mean, they're probably never going to see it, but there are other people reading it, and that's. that's yeah, and exactly, that I was one of them. So know. you're speaking to other people. That's good to hear. Is that Thank what you, you mean? Know. So that's what helps uh, ease the pain of the trolls is that you know you're getting through and spreading truth? Yeah, and also the trolls just like seriously don't bother me at all. Like it's just like those people are crazy. They inject metal into their blood and they just do so many weird stuff that I would just, they, I just, they just seem crazy, crazy. So like if they're upset with me, like whatever. Right. I That's admirable, really though, because, uh, you know, it, 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 I try not to let it bother me, but I can't say that they don't. And sometimes I'll watch them like for with you, for example, and it'll make me join in because I'm like, shut the fuck up. Like, how, how can you act like, you know, everything you really don't. And when you're misled and lied to on such a massive level, how, how, can you prove like you should have done some research? You should question everything that you're told. And I don't understand mocking anyone for questioning anything. You don't have to agree with them, but if you're mocking it, you have to wonder why you're doing that. Yeah. Have you ever heard the expression, let the triggers be the guides? No, I haven't, but that is good expression. Yeah. It, it saw, is kind of my guide. I kind of said that earlier. Yeah. Like, and I saw that like 
really long time ago. It was just a random meme on Facebook. It just was the words, let the triggers be the guides. And that just resonated with me. It's like, wow, you're right. You can tell when people are triggered and like get emotional and like, like, grr. And I think there's something to like, that. Absolutely. Because I think it's when you're seeing someone be triggered by an idea, something's something's wrong inside your head. It's fighting. Your brain is combating the idea. It's not just dismissing it like it would something else. There's a reason for that. It's battling against the indoctrination in your mind. It's challenging your whole perception of reality. You know, like, for, good, for example, sure. right, for example, like 9-11. You know, once you realize that, it's, it's scary to realize that. So you don't want to. You don't want, you don't want to go over into that section and think people would do this. So you don't even allow yourself to see it. Yeah, it is kind of scary that the government's run by literal psychopaths that fucking literally murder people. It's Not crazy. just the government, the world. It's crazy. Yeah, the whole world. And they're all in on it together. Yeah. It's, it is terrifying. It used to really bother me, but then it's like, yeah, I just can't live in fear forever. I mean, it, just, it is what it is. You just got to expose it and try to fight it the best you can, but can't really live in fear about it. But it is terrifying at first. It's just, it is heavy. It I is. see why that would be repressed. And the more you wake up to, the more of a burden it kind of is because you, you're realizing what we're up against and the only route you have is to spread truth and awareness. That's really the only weapon we have. Yeah, because right now we couldn't do anything, really. We're not in a place like where there needs to be such a shift in consciousness before we're able to even march and stuff like that. Like right now, I could... Even if I devoted my life to getting a huge rally up or whatever, it couldn't get big enough to do much right now, to be honest. No, I think you're right. To shift the, shift the global awareness and the collective consciousness needs a shift. And so I think that's the important part we need to be focused on right now, in my opinion. Um, this is a little, it's not off topic, but I wanted to ask you a little bit about, do you, are you familiar with Logan Paul? Yeah, I'd only heard about him because he did that Flat Earth stuff. Did you watch and, it? Uh, Have you watched his Flat Earth movie? Uh, no, but I hear that it ends with him talking about how big his dick is for like quite some time. Actually, he only mentions it a couple times, but it does get mentioned. And it also ends with him admitting that he was trolling the entire time. <laughs> yeah, so either he came out of the closet as a Flat Earther and got so bashed he was ashamed... And decided to edit the end of his movie to say, uh, by the way, I don't really believe the earth is flat. Or <laughs> or he was trolling the entire time. But he used the Flat Earth Society in the movie, prominently featured. And I know a lot of people consider them to be misinformation. Do you? Yeah, Flat Earth Society is definitely garbage. That's like cited, started by the government. They taught... They preach the infinitely rising disc stuff so that was Planet a, society is bunk i was writing notes as i was watching his movie i just watched it about an hour before i talked to you um just to do a little prep for the show and just because it, it came up in my feed and i was like well there's something i'll watch that i'll see what this and, and i wanted to see it anyway just because um the only other thing i know about him is his really douchebag move of filming that suicide the victim suicide victim that he yeah that's that's yeah, that's like literally the only other thing I know too. Yeah, so I watched it because of that because I'm like, all right, let's see what this guy has to say about this. And, uh, you know, I'm sitting here trying to figure out some questions for you, so I just wanted something on in the background. But I wrote in my own notes during the video, I was right, is this, is this a misinfo campaign? And the reason was that they were so prominently featuring the Flat Earth Society during the movie. And then it turned out at the end it was at least a troll job. So... It's a damaging documentary either way you look at it because he just ends up making it look like it was all a joke. Yeah, but people are hearing about Flat Earth, so I don't think... Uh, I'm a, I'll so you think it still has no its merits? Is bad publicity. Yeah, yeah that's true. For some reason, that kid, that he's got such creepy vacant eyes. That dude somehow, though, has like 18 million followers or something I heard like that. It's just, uh, yeah, how I is that? It's bad to have that many. Have you seen his it, house? I think No, it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. I, I cannot 
He's I, making I a make very good living off of YouTube maybe. videos. Yeah, it makes no sense any part of any of it. But he's got creepy, vacant eyes. Dude, that he dude does. Creeps me out just looking at him. He's I'm a not, weird dude. That dude is legitimately creepy to me. Yeah, I just spent I just a solid hour with him. Guy. And he creeps me out too. I totally agree. But I was kind of mad at the end of the movie because I'm like, why make it a troll job? Why? First off, why be ashamed? Stand behind your belief. If you really believe this, why did not Why did you end the movie with you saying you don't? When in the climax of the movie, he admits to being a flat earther. So why do that? You know, I, I but I see what you're saying is no publicity. There's no such thing as bad publicity. So it gets it out there because they did make a lot of strong points in the movie too because even though they used the flat earth society so prominently they didn't show some of the weirder things they did kind of get on the point where they think you can fall off the edge which i don't think you can if i don't think there has to be an edge that you fall much. off of yeah, now I don't think something that i've noticed in listening to your interviews on other shows is that you are an atheist, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, now, I find that fascinating because a lot of the flat earthers that you run into are religious and actually see the flat earth and the firmament as proof of God. Yeah, I mean, I can believe it's... I could believe that it'd be proof of intelligent design. But I am of the opinion that the Bible is like a wicked black magic book trying to harvest self-fulfilling prophecy. It's like just some weird, wicked Kabbalah black magic is what I think of the Bible. So I'm not a fan of the Bible at all. But I could see intelligent design, definitely. I'm not 100% sold on intelligent design even. But yeah, I could see that. And it bothers me that they're so often associate that with the Bible. That since the earth is flat then the Bible is legit, and there's just no connection with that. It kind of That's kind of irksome to me when all the biblical flat earthers, it's like water can't bend or curve, but Jesus can walk on it. It's like, right. come on, I don't know. But the Bible, the Bible does speak myself. about the earth being flat. Multiple oh, yeah, times. Tons of times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I also agree with you as the Bible be has been weaponized. I don't think that its original intent was to be a weapon, but it's been made one. Yeah, it's definitely a weapon. And it's been written, rewritten thousands of times. So it's definitely been manipulated as well. I, I, I sometimes wonder how um, religious people, Christians, etc., can lean on the Bible so heavily when it's admitted to have been changed and rewritten and manipulated so many times. Yeah, I, it doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, me neither. But because I I don't base my faith on I happen to be Christian, or I would that's the closest thing I could call myself. I don't uh, I don't relate to most Christians because I don't think they're really getting the message that they should be getting or giving. They're not being accepting. They're not they're being judgmental. They're not doing they're doing the opposite of what they should be doing, in my opinion. Um. But I guess that would be what I'd have to classify myself. But for me, if I was to if I was to be proven that there's a dome, a firmament, and we are on a flat plane, for me that's proof of God. And like you said, at least intelligent design. But if the outer yeah, space is fake, which I agree with you that what we're told at least what we're told about outer space is all made up cartoon bullshit. I believe NASA is a money laundering and uh, propaganda machine. I believe that's their only purpose is misinformation and money and 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 being a uh, a huge dump, wasting dump for money. Yeah, they suck. Yeah. So, what was I saying? Uh, the dome. Yeah. Uh, if you saw that, it would be. I can see that. I wish I could go up to there. For all we know, though, none of this is even real. Right. This is like a dream. Maybe. maybe uh, what do you think about that? The uh, Matrix theory. Yeah, maybe. I'm starting to take that a lot more serious than maybe we are. Like in a. Uh, I've started looking at it too. Military bunker somewhere. It's crazy stuff, man. That maybe none of this is real. I don't know. 
You know, Elon Musk, who many consider to be one of the smartest people alive, says that there's a one in a billion chance that we're not in a simulation. So yeah, or something, some sort of fake. This seems most like this to me. I my perception of reality, what's going on? It seems like a collective lucid dream to me. That's my that's my intuition and perception of it. I don't really know what's going on. But I sense it and experience it as like a collective lucid dream. So things like a dome, I'm always skeptical of believing things like a dome or a creator, intelligent design even. Because for all I know, I was like a stillbirth and I died. And this is like the DMT trip. And that split second before my stillbirth actually dies. I don't really know what's going on. Right. And I don't think any of us really do. Like you, you get a good enough grasp on reality, but we only have our senses. We can't even experience everything around us. You know, the popular accepted science says there's what, 10 dimensions and we only experience four of them. Yeah. So admitted mainstream science is on board with the fact that you're not even experiencing your entire world yet you claim to know all about it there's all kinds of things we don't know and have yet to discover that could unravel everything about reality so i i think it's funny that people get so arrogant when science is ever changing and ever expanding it's not etched in stone they make it into a religion called scientism where it can't be questioned when the whole purpose is to question it yeah, it has become quite a religion. It, and it's like a perfectly dogmatic religion. You cannot question any part of the official NASA story. Any part of it. It's like a whole package deal where you have to believe all of it. None of it. It's you like can't even dogmatic. question gravity. Like Neil deGrasse Tyson, there's a famous interview of his that you can look up also online where he's asked about gravity. On multiple occasions he's been asked about it. And they cannot prove gravity. They cannot demonstrated it's still a theory it's unprovable but and he'll admit that but laugh at you at the same time for even asking the question <laughs> i don't understand it yeah it's, it's just it's a cold thinking man there's an occult right and they don't even realize it and and they'll mock you for questioning something that definitely needs to be questioned um, I'm worried about getting the name wrong is the only reason why I'm not saying this, but didn't Werner von Braun uh, found NASA, right? I'm getting that. Am I getting that yeah, name right? Pretty much. His tombstone references yes. the Bible's verse that talks about the firmament. Why yeah, would that, that be? Sketchy. Yeah, that's very sketchy. That's... <laughs> yeah, it's gotta, it's gotta be at least like a final troll move or else the earth is flat and they know it. There's like pretty much two options. Well, you're familiar with Admiral Byrd's expeditions in Antarctica. Mm -hmm. So they did tons of experiments and they shot nuclear weapons at something. They admit that they were shooting them in the sky. What if they were trying yeah, to... They were shooting something. What if they were trying to break I'd through? I'd be worried they would fall back down if they weren't shooting something. That kind of proves that they were shooting at something because that would be... I would be worried that they would fall down if I were to shoot a Yeah, they weapon, were shooting you know? nuclear weapons into the <laughs> sky. They admit that. And they call it Operation yeah. High Jump. And what were they shooting at? I believe they were trying to see if they could break through whatever they had found. Yeah, it kind of seems like that. that is kind of pretty convincing evidence that there is a dome. That, that and also another thing you guys should check out, just type in... Uh, Sprites Dome Flat Earth or something like that. It should pop up. There's, it's been re-uploaded so many times. But Sprites, apparently, they fall from the sky. They're just like ball lightning type stuff. Uh-huh. Am, am I on Spike? Am I getting, are you getting an echo? I'm not hearing an echo, but I also can... Okay, I'll just keep going then. Okay. Is it bothering you? So, so No, it's all good. So, okay. the thing to check is the... Sprites. It is echoing. Okay, Sprites Dome Flat Earth. Type it up. Sprites. They show these shower of sprites come right off the top of the dome. It's crazy. Really? Have you seen, and what do you think, if you have, about that video where they shoot a rocket up and it hits something and stops? 
Yeah, that's some weird stuff. I'm not sure what to think of that video. Right, I'm not either. But yeah, it really does look like not only does the rocket stop, stop, it also quits spinning abruptly. Like it hits something, but if it hit something, it, the rocket would have probably broken. So it yeah, like or, it hit some. or tilted or bounced off of whatever it hit, but it, it's like it's stuck to it. Yeah, it like stuck into it a little bit and then fell out of it. Right, that's so what I that saw was a too. Weird video, I can't, I can't make sense of that at all. No, it's either really good trick, or that rocket hit something. Yeah, and it's it, got to be one of the two. And and any video. Uh, my first thought was that it had to be like a parachute. Cause, you know, the rockets sometimes have parachutes that stop mm -hmm. the rockets pretty abruptly once they get to a certain altitude. Yeah. But that wouldn't explain how it would just stop spinning so abruptly. No, it wouldn't. So it's either been heavily doctored and, and we're being fooled, which is possible. I always have to admit that's possible, you know, with these YouTube videos. Because they could be doctored. Yeah, any video, any possible. picture, you know, we can't use that logic against NASA and then refuse to use it on our own stuff. You know, any picture can be manipulated. Uh, yeah, I just assume that everything is fake, essentially. Right. But if you see enough things. Right. But that video is interesting. That video gave me chills. Yeah, that was weird. That was weird. Now, what do you think of that this guy? Weird, who's... Definitely, you definitely link that on the thing. That's a that that's a really weird video. Yeah, I'm gonna link that in the comments too because that is interesting to see. Um, I also think I might throw in a link to uh, Eric DeBay's 200 Proofs because I would like for somebody and they'll show up. The people that want to tell. Uh, say it's uh, ridiculous to think the earth is flat or it's ridiculous even to question NASA, which I don't know how you say it, but there's people that say it and they'll show up. So I hope they'll refute that stuff. You know, I want to add that. So I hope they'll refute some of Eric Dubay's points because you got a video with 200 things in it that refute any of it to me. I, these are great points. You know, and people have tried and they start and, uh, it's just all just what they do is they take the official story that's being questioned and they just assert it again as evidence for itself. And that's what they do. They'll go through all 200 proofs and they'll just say, well, this thing being proven wrong, actually, we'll just say this thing again. And then that proves that it's right. And that's they'll go through all 200, just state the official story again for all 200. And they think they'll disprove all of them. It's madness. It is. It's frustrating as well because you got to be able to question things and especially an organization like NASA I feel has gotten away with a ton of stuff and worst off a ton of money for a bunch of lies and I think it deserves to be exposed yeah but it's They're one of the hardest to... truths for people to accept yeah there's such a reverence for NASA yeah, and, and you know, that's it's come from not only years of indoctrination, but also the brainwashing. And Hollywood is responsible for a lot of that, too. Like Apollo 13. Oh, yeah, Everyone's there's, there's tons of examples. Like the and, movie ever. Yeah, and I saw somebody had questioned one time, why don't they make a moon landing movie? Why don't they, why don't they, do, why don't they do that? And the point that they were making is, do they not want to show us what it looks like when you fake it? I'm not sure. That would yeah. be neat, though. I, apparently, there was a new, like, First Man or something. I haven't seen that one, but apparently there was a mission. Do they actually show him land? Yeah, I don't think they actually land on the moon. I'm not sure. I haven't seen it. But, uh, but isn't that fascinating that all the space movies, they don't ever do that? Yeah, I don't think they actually land on the moon in that. That would be remarkable. Yeah, the only moon mission oh, movie I, they did movie, was, the, though, was the failed mission. Witness the impossible mission. Listen, listen for a second, though. The, the tagline for that new moon mission is, witness the impossible mission to the moon. <laughs> it's like, impossible, not possible. They admit it outright in the tagline. Right. And they admit they can't do it again, which I, I find is the... The, the smoking gun to the whole thing. You can't do something you did 60 years ago. Yeah, what is that true? The 60s, but not now. Now right. it's way too hard. In what other that situation is that true? Back. What what else can't we do that we could do 60 years ago? Can you think of anything? Uh, pretty much nothing. I can't think of anything. 
But somehow we went backwards in one of the most highly funded organizations and with the smartest people, the best and the brightest, we went backwards. And that's their official story. And they just stick to it. It's just crazy. It's just obviously not true. And I can't believe us people are, can't just see through that obviously. It's just the brainwashing, man. It's crazy that they can't see through it. Do you remember the picture when they showed us the picture of Pluto? And it had Pluto, the dog from Disney, in the damn planet. <laughs> yeah. It's just... Yeah, that's more of that faking it poorly on purpose stuff. They're laughing at you. There's there's composites of of Earth. Um, I don't remember what particular example, but there's only been like eight released pictures from NASA of Earth to begin with, so it won't be hard to find. But you can find sex written out in the clouds. Yeah. Trolling you just like a Disney artist does. Clouds. Yeah. And evidence of Photoshop with the clouds, but outright writing out sex, just like in The Lion King or something where an animator would sneak it in. Yeah. It's just... And it, people believe it, man. And they just eat it all up every time. It's frustrating. Um, I know that the flat earth is hard for people to wrap their head around and fake outer space should be easy to wrap their head around, but that's hard too. It's because you just, you've been taught since you were little. So they feel like thousands of people have to be involved in this lie when really that's not true about any of these conspiracies. It doesn't take Everyone thousands of people. The same lie. It'd be super easy. Mm -hmm. You're spread. It's spread down from the real power, the true power at the top that controls all the knowledge and sets everything in motion. Yeah, if you're the one who gets to pick what pre preschoolers are told and shown, you can pretty much flip the whole script in like two generations of anything, on any way, for any part, any time. And, and they've rewritten history entirely. Why wouldn't they have, why couldn't they change something like this? They've changed all kinds of things, demonstrably throughout history. Uh, you're not taught real history. No, history is so fake. It is crazy how fake history is. I can't even... It's beyond anything imaginable how fake it is. I can't even believe it. Yeah. If you want any real truth in this world, and this is getting truer and truer every day, as scary as that is, you have to go find it on your own. Yep. Even when you pay for these high-priced educations, you're still getting the approved uh, narrative, the approved story, the just, approved everything. It's told lies, dude. You're graded on your ability to recite lies. It's just ridiculous. It's a destruction of knowledge. It really is. And, you know, whether the earth is flat or not, you need to understand, it needs to at least be accepted that NASA is bullshit. And you're right. That is easier to prove because they leave it there for you. To, there is no space, but there's no space bubbles. In these videos yeah, of the outer no spacewalks, there's bubbles. Sometimes you can see uh, they let themselves be seen in like reflections and they're wearing creepy masks. I'll link one of those kind of videos too. Really? Like they're just, they're being, not only are they being lazy about it, they're being creepy about it. It's just fucking creepy, man. It's weird. They're being weird about it too. Yeah. But this is the ultimate deception. That's why I wanted to start here. I, and I hope, I'm going to ask you real quick if you'll ever consider coming back on the show in the future to talk about some other stuff. Because there's some other fascinating stuff you're into as well. Yeah, man. That's like awesome. megalithic structures and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to talk about Tartaria and mud floods. That's a whole other thing that I've been crazy into recently. Really big into. Yeah, that would be great so to do that. Go ahead. Quick TLDR about that one is that uh, so it seems that all over the world, a lot of the official stories for all the how these buildings were built are just completely ridiculous. Just they tell us like settlers with wagons hauled these single pieces of marble. Mm -hmm. how, like how did they quarry this? How did they haul it? Just there's no logical explanation for it. so many of it. And, and these I'm, structures I'm are amazing. I'm thinking maybe that it even goes so deep as that all of the state capitals and many old cathedrals, if not all old cathedrals, were all already here. 
maybe that's why they killed like 50 million natives because they knew what was going on just kill everyone who knew that shit was here rewrite history what are you going to do you're all they're all dead what are you going to do that's interesting because they don't they look out of place i will i will have to admit that any one of these structures that you just named they look foreign they don't match yeah, their surroundings. All that Greco-Roman Gothic architecture all seems it was already here. It's way older. We can't we can't get anything like that nowadays. And we don't Nothing build anything like that nowadays that. either. Nothing even close to that. Yeah. But apparently they could build it so easily before electricity. It just doesn't make any sense. Right. No, that's true. That's interesting. And we got to have you back on to talk about that. Yeah, it's pretty much, since the steam engine forward, it's pretty much all well photographed. But before the steam engine and photographs are about the same time in the early 1800s, uh -huh. before that, we don't know what's going on at all. And there's all this crazy stuff that we could not build today. And it's just one of the weirdest things I've ever looked into. So definitely, I'd love to talk about that. Absolutely. But uh, again, thank you so much for coming on and doing the show and talking to us about fake outer space and flat earth. Yeah. Thanks for having me. This was fun. No, no problem. And, uh, we had a great time having you on and, uh, I hope if anybody has any questions that they will ask them instead of lashing out or going with that gut reaction. And if you have that gut reaction, if you feel like you need to lash out, take a second to wonder why. Why can't you just disregard information that you don't agree with if you if, or prove it wrong? Um, I think me and Tyler both are of the opinion where our, 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 or rather I should say our opinions are not etched in stone. If I know if I'm shown evidence, my mind can be changed. And I feel that Tyler is the same way. Yeah, definitely. I'd love to be proven wrong all the time. That's like my thing. I love to be proven wrong. Yeah. So if you... If you are those people that are, you know, you feel like you need to defend the official story, please do so. But prove us wrong. You're not ever going to sway anybody by mocking them and berating them. Well said. So thanks again, Tyler, for coming on. I appreciate you uh, giving me some of your time to talk to everybody today. And like I said, I uh, look forward to seeing you back on the show in the future. Um. Everybody, this has been Tyler. Is there anything you want to promote on the show or a website or anything like that that you have? Or Ooh, One thing I would like to say, that's uh, pre-render into the Tartaria stuff. There's this, there's this uh, YouTube channel called New Earth, and it is singular. It is like nothing I've ever seen. I'm trying to watch all of it because it's like, just you get those like deep chills up your spine. And we're just like, you can't even, it's beyond anything. So New Earth, check that out too. Right on. I'll look at that. So I hope you guys will too. Thank you, thanks again, Tyler, for coming on. And I'm going to let you go. We'll uh, get to the comments section and talk to the audience here in just a second.